So I am in uh, Brownsville, Brownsville? Yeah, Brownsville, Nebraska. This is the oldest village here. And you can see behind me over there, there's a little bit of a log cabin over there that's been restored, built in like 1827 or so. And this rock here is supposedly where some dude signed up for the, uh, the Civil War. I assume he was on the Union side because I don't see any Confederate flags over here. And I gotta say, that is one of the refreshing things about being in the Midwest. There's, there are no um, Confederate petal flags here. So there's a lot of American flags here, a lot of uh, military avenues and a lot of these towns. Uh, and so there's all that. But this is a really adorable little town. It was kind of abandoned for a while because they apparently they built a train to here to help with trade, but only 10 miles of it. And so even though this was the first village here, it was abandoned. But in the 70s, they, they named it uh, under the uh, historic registry here. But I'm about to cross the river, the Missouri River again, and go into Missouri, which will be my 17th state of its trip. And, you know, I'm just kind of booking along. And it's, it's kind of wild. A week from today, I plan to be back in Florida. And I know it's hot, and I know we have red tide there now, but uh, I kind of miss home. Been out for two months, and uh, yeah, so I will be heading back. But be give, I'll continue to give you little updates uh, for those of you who care about where I'm going and what I'm doing. Uh, and last night, I believe, was my last stay with a, uh, a host that I met on Couchsurfing.com, the Couchsurfing uh, app. And I have been really, really fortunate to just be able to meet some really extraordinary people. Last night's uh, hosts were, were no different. They uh, live in an old house in, in Elmwood, Nebraska. A beautiful home, really warm-hearted people. Great dinner we had last night. A lively conversation and listened to music. And um, you know, sat out on the porch and had some uh, some whiskey and a cigar and see some fruit-infused vodka uh, that Beth made. Uh, she's the wife. And um, I was really good. She had like elderberry vodka, blackberry vodka, raspberry vodka. So that was really like very tasty. Uh, normally I don't like drink a lot of vodka, but it was fruit infused. So it was healthy, right? Anyhow, today I'm back on it again. I've got a few hours to uh, ride today through Missouri. Um, I gotta say, I've really enjoyed Nebraska. Uh, just like Iowa, I was a little surprised. Now I'm just hitting this eastern part of the state and so I know that the more west, west I go the flatter it's gonna get but today's ride has been really nice it's been nice and hilly and uh, beautiful scenery a lot of corn and other crops but uh, really a, a beautiful state and so if you ever get a chance to come out here then go ahead but I'm not gonna ride anymore west because it's hot and it's windy Riding here yesterday, I think it got up to about like 93, 94. Uh, the other day in Sioux Falls, um, uh, it was it was still in South Dakota, but it got to 99 degrees. And because it's not as humid here as like it is in Florida, when I'm on that motorcycle, I'm, I can be doing 75 miles an hour, and it doesn't cool me down very much. It's just still just riding through this heat, uh, dry heat. But um, it's actually getting a little bit more uh, humid here. Maybe that's just because I'm near the Missouri River or something. And so it's a nice cool breeze and it's a beautiful day. Uh, weather looks like I may be getting some rain tomorrow. I'm hoping not. I hope that, that blows through, but we'll see what happens. Anyway, so this is uh, my signing off from Nebraska, my 16th state, as I head into Missouri, and I'll see y'all down the road.